Hello again, and um, this is the second video in our series of videos designed to support the preparation of a business plan for a new startup. So we're on to chapter one, and um, chapter one is probably the most important chapter, um, and it's about the most per important person in the business, and that's you. Um, ultimately, the measure of what makes a successful business or a non-successful business is usually the promoter. There are many examples of um, of two businesses, the exact same, sitting side by side in the one location, providing the same service, and one is an overwhelming success, and one is an abject failure. And you'd wonder, what's the difference? Usually it's the promoter. The promoter is the key difference between a good business and a bad business. I go further, I think it's on the University of Chicago, they have a website with um, 200,000 business ideas that they got their MBA students to pull together over a weekend or something and they published them freely online. The point they were trying to make is that business ideas are to a penny. They're easy come, easy go. Any one of us could sit down in the next half an hour and come up with five or ten business ideas that might be very, very good ideas. And um, What makes that business idea convert into a viable business is you, the promoter. So this section about you is a really tough one. Now, in, in preparing this, I would suggest there might be two, even throughout your whole business plan, there might be two versions of it. Modern um, word processing technology makes that very easy for you to have various versions of it. Um, but the one that I'm most concerned about is the one where you are really honest with yourself, the one that you really address the key and critical issues that are pertinent to you, and that you don't duck and dive or try and gloss them up in, 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 in promotional paraphernalia, that you actually address the key underlying issues for yourself. So let's talk about the, um, this, this chapter as a personal document for you and about you that nobody else will read. So in considering the business then and, and your role in the business, you need to ask yourself, well, why? Why, why am I going down this track? What, what, what is my motivation for going into this business? And think long and hard about that. Why do we want to do it? Um, interestingly, a lot of people talk about money and, and, and business business being a driver of income, and obviously anyone that's in, in business needs to, to make a living. But you should note that an awful lot of people in business don't make an awful lot of money. An awful lot of businesses don't deliver huge incomes. And um, also the hours that people need to put in to those businesses um, are upwards on 60, 70, 80 hours per week just to make the average industrial wage. So if money is your driver, it might not be the smartest move. Um, the other thing maybe is have a look at yourself. There are some very, very good um, tests that are available online. They're available in, um, in, 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 in various institutions where you can maybe assess your own personality. What kind of person are you? And um, what are your aptitudes? What are your academic competencies? Um, to help you understand yourself and your suitability for this business. And so I would, I would suggest that you would have a look at yourselves there. And also suggest have a look at your your life outside of the business. What are your responsibilities um, in, in life, in relation to family, your caring, um, finances? What are the limitations on what you're prepared to put into this business? Again, articulate that, be clear and honest with yourself. How far are you willing to go with this in terms of time, hours, commitment, finances, and, and what are those boundaries? A key part of the business is your family. Um, bringing along all of your family with you is going to be a key part of this. Most very successful businesses have the to the, all the family involved and, and various members of the family helping out in various ways. So I would suggest early in the process that you sit down and have a good long chat with your family about the business, that you involve them in the key decisions, that you, you involve them in the strategic decisions of the business and you make sure everybody is on board so that it, and you can rely on each other and ultimately, if you come to have to make decisions in the future that there might be a tension between your family need and your business needs, you can all be on the one hymn sheet as to why you're making particular decisions. I would suggest also consider alternatives. There are always opportunity costs. So if you're going down this route, you're not going down another route. Um, are you sure that's the right thing to be doing? Um, so be honest. Treat this like a personal document. You don't have to show it to anybody. Um, there may be another section then in the CV, or sorry, in, in, in the personal profile element of it, where you will show it to third parties. So you treat that section like a CV. 
You need to articulate your skills, you need to articulate your experience, your qualifications, your knowledge, and what it is you're bringing to the table to make sure this business is going to be a success. So this part probably will, you will be using for third parties to read. You will be using it as part of your marketing paraphernalia. And remember, any reader will study this in grave detail because they'll know that the person behind the business is the most important part. And anybody assisting with you, investing in the business, will really be investing in you, the promoter. So therefore, the description of you, the promoter, is a key part of the whole thing. So that should wrap it up nicely. Thank you. Thank you.